Hi and welcome back to What's on My Desk. On my desk today is this stuff. This is mail armour. Uh, it's a type of metallic body armour that was developed in around the 4th century BC. Our earliest objects that probably count as mail armour come from a place called Kumeshti in Romania or Hjordspring in Denmark. Uh, it's made of interlinked metal rings, so on a larger scale, it looks like this. You have four rings passing through a fifth in the middle. Scale that down, and you can produce rings that are doing many, many different things. So these are three millimeter rings, and it's iron mixed with brass. Um, you can make mail to do almost any garment shape possible. It's incredibly good at its job. It lasted for around, well, nearly 2,000 years because it's still in use today. It's uh, anti stab vests contain uh, a layer of mail within them. Um, it's very good at preventing cutting edges. It's not so good at preventing uh, piercing damage. So things like needle bodkin arrows tend to pull the rings apart if they're not secured enough. So a lot of the mail that's on my desk at the moment is what we call butted mail. That's where the ends are just literally pushed together. However, most mail throughout history was riveted. So each of the rings has a tiny rivet that passes through an overlap and holds the rings shut. A mail coat, well, the average mail coat can have around 28,000 rings in it. Uh, depending on the size of the rings. So for one of these little tiny three millimeter male shirts made in what's now India, uh, they would contain sort of 220 odd thousand rings. Um, you can make a whole range of garments. They come in the form of shirts, simple sleeves to go between the gaps in plate armor. And they also used to make coifs as you saw at the start. So male armour, fascinating and amazing type of armour, uh, still with us today. If you'd like to know more about male armour, then I will put up a couple of people you should really check out on Instagram. They are two of the best male makers that I've seen, uh, and they're really good at what they do, and they make some fascinating uh, artefacts.